gain of 21 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. And now here's a carry heading left. Space to run past the 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A great effort there. 32 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. First down. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch. Then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them. Big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. And here's Wilson to throw again. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the pro bowler, Luke Kinkley, that picks it. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. carry for Christian McCaffrey and he is going to be knocked flat on his back oh a big hit that's going to go as a loss of two and it'll be second down I say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game they may want to file that one away see how fast the free safety closed to make that play might want to check into a throw the next time on second down here's Newton They'll drop it off to McCaffrey, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Give him eight on the play, and just like that, it's third down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. He's got his man here. It's green. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And the D looking like they may blitz. Newton on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And nothing but daylight ahead. Past the 20. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. 
And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13 nothing early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Now a first down throw for Newton. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And the offense lining up first and 10. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. Some tough running, but it only gets him to the 45. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down following the run. Here's Newton. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. for the former Tar Heel Elijah Hood. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one and it'll be second and 11. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Now we give right side McCaffrey. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Red zone opportunity. Play action. Newton. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around a 30. Brandon Graham in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. the gun. Newton. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Let's face it. If you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. And it's an early lead there for the Saints. 
Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect. They've got his man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. Now it's Wilson. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make this a second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And with a flag on the field, and that one looks to be in the area where someone was held. Second down, they'll try and run the counter. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third down, Wilson. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. This one taken from the seven. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. A big play there. Taking it in. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. A 
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Carolina getting set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. He's out to the 30. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now Newton. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. They worked very well there for a first down. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same. Blitz coming and down he goes. Bobby Wagner coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Here's Newton. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. Boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Around the NFL, we've got a second quarter score. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. we got a good one going on there. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. To throw on second down is Newton. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Seven to go in this first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. The Panthers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Here's Newton. Throwing right and that's complete. A big third down play there for the Panthers. 45 yards. 
there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. From the red zone now, Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Now Newton. This will be caught with about the six. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They come out here in the eye. Newton now to throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. So we just witnessed touchdown number one for the Rook, and certainly that's a football he's going to want for the trophy case. Yeah, this is one that you don't spike, right? This is one you don't throw to your teammate and let them celebrate. This is one you keep for yourself, take it over to the equipment staff and have them mark it up, put it away, and then you get it later on. And as you said, mount it in your trophy case. Fantastic. Hopefully the first of many. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Oh, he's got a little daylight. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them <laughs> next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. On first down, Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they yeah, did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. Now Wilson on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Now, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. Ten yards to go on third. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that is incomplete. 
16 seconds now on the clock. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up four. It's a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they get the field goal near the end of the first half to expand that lead. Now that's got to feel good, but they can't let up. Now on the kickoff, they've got to make sure they don't give up a big return or a big yardage to set up the other team for one last chance to score themselves. Carolina getting set to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Throwing is Newton. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. And a throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. And to give this time to the tailback. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Newton now to throw. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body... It's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. On first down, it's Newton. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case... In the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's got Rome. McCaffrey with a first down and more. Whoa, he still won't go down. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. 38 yards on the scamper there. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. A nice run there, nine yards. And it'll be second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And here comes play number six on this drive. Here's 
Newton now on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Just a yard, but that's all they needed. And by the slimmest of margins, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, yeah. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Right. A shotgun snap for Newton. Oh, it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. To throw on second down. Newton. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Michael Bannon in there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Back to throw. Newton. And he's going to go down again. Brandon Graham in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. And Charles, they get the field goal. Took him a dozen plays, though. Work with me on this one. You know what I'm about to say, right? Bend, but don't break. That's what came into play here for the defense. Twelve plays were run at them. They only gave up three points. In a lot of ways, that's a win for the defense. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it? touchdowns and they're able to get this one across the 35 a nice pick up there of 11 yards and it'll move the sticks they're trying to show that they can run the ball protect this lead give it to the backs play a little bit of keep away don't you think and that's probably a good philosophy at this point going to make that defense stand up and stop them now it's carson a gain of three, second down. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal gain. Wilson. He's got his man on the crossing route. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Here's Carson. 
And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. You know how we get focused at end of the half and into the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on. It. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Wilson now to throw on third down, eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. And he knocks it through. Bullock out now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. So second and ten here. To throw again. Newton escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. The Panthers on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and five. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is knocked down from the side. A big gain of 31 on third down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And I think the ball's out. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought 
that I don't like this rule where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. He lost four there, and it's third down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense. They were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? And <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. And how about that defensive front creating a new line of script? And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off around the 27. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. This has been one mistake after another on the offensive side of the ball. That's now three interceptions to go along with two fumbles for him. And if you're going to turn the ball over five times in the game, your chances to win have to be about 100 to 1. And it's not looking good for him here. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I'm ready now for second and nine. And to give this time to the tailback. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. I think this defense tired of seeing him run the football. And this D-line probably getting sick of the O-line as well. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about a comp. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Panthers have recovered. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because... You would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. A handoff as they run the counter play. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because this confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? And tough starting field position here. From the end zone, Newton. Sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. And out now come the Seahawks. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, 
They're not as worried and concerned about getting him out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. The Seahawks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year we